Hi, thanks for clicking on this instructional video. My name is Eric. I'm with Biosonics, and today I'll demonstrate Vizac AutoTrack, a new software utility for analyzing fisheries hydroacoustic data. Vizac AutoTrack can be used as a real time automated processing tool or as a powerful post processing tool to quickly and easily generate usable information for fisheries management. And today I'll show you how to configure the software to automatically generate fish tracks and build fish track lists during data collection. Vizac AutoTrack is a new software module that works from within Biosonic's data collection software, Visual Acquisition. Any of you who have used a Biosonic's Echo Sounder have used Visual Acquisition to configure and log your data. Vizac AutoTrack will provide us with basic fisheries information including the target strength or acoustic size and location of every target detected. It will also calculate the sampled volume in order to provide us with fish density measurements. Now there are a variety of software programs available today that can provide us with this type of information and the standard technique for gathering fisheries information using hydroacoustics is a two-stage process involving data collection performed from a boat during mobile surveys, followed by post-processing of the data in the office or lab using specialized analysis software. And typically we can expect to spend an equal or greater amount of time processing the data as we do collecting it. That is, for every hour of acoustic data we collect, we should expect to spend an hour in the office analyzing it. But what's different and significant about Vizac AutoTrack is that we can now combine data collection and processing and obtain the desired fisheries information automatically and in real time, effectively eliminating the bulk of our data processing effort. Now let's have a look. For today's demonstration we're going to be working with a typical freshwater data file. This particular file was collected from a lake in British Columbia that's known to hold a diverse fish community including six species of Pacific salmon, pike minnow, stickleback, several lamprey species, and sculpin. To begin using Vizac AutoTrack, we launch Visual Acquisition and then we use the Configure button to enter the optimal settings and the parameters for our environment and the targets of interest. After we've obtained a license key and activated the Vizac AutoTrack module, several new menu items are added to the configuration window, including AutoTrack Detection, AutoTrack Reporting, and CSV Output. Echo Detection is a standard configuration setting in Visual Acquisition, and it is also the very important first step in configuring Vizac AutoTrack. We make certain that our single echo detection is enabled, adjust our threshold, set the minimum and maximum echo lengths, and the other single echo detection parameters. For a tutorial on each of the echo detection parameters, please review the user's guide within the help section or contact our tech support team via telephone or email. Once we've entered the echo detection parameters, we can move on to track detection settings. First, enable track detection. Then set a start and end range for our track detection. This allows the user to filter and only build fish tracks for the fish at specific depth ranges. For example, we could choose to build fish tracks only below a certain depth and thereby filter the surface oriented fish out of our results. Tracking window refers to the vertical spacing measured in meters above and below a specific echo. Vizac AutoTrack will create separate new fish tracks when multiple echoes are vertically separated in the water column by a distance greater than the tracking window. Conversely, when multiple echoes are located vertically within the tracking window, Vizac AutoTrack will combine these echoes to form a single fish track. So we can adjust the tracking window based on the expected spacing and size of our fish. 
Next, choose the minimum number of echoes required to start a track, the minimum additional echoes to accept a track. In this example, we have, we have entered one for each of these values. Enter a maximum ping gap. In this example, we're going to allow a ping gap of up to five pings. And then enter the maximum pings to accept a track. Now let's move down to auto track reporting in the menu. Auto track reporting refers to how we want our information summarized in the output. The reporting interval will translate to a bin, line, or column of information in our CSV file when we export our track summary report. We choose our reporting interval in either the number of pings, the elapsed time, or distance along the cruise track in meters. In this case, we'll use a 50 meter reporting interval. Next, choose our reporting range bins. Range bins are used to report fish counts and density by depth strata. We set a start and end range and then specify the number of bins. In our example, the lake depth is between 35 and 40 meters. So if I set an end range of 40 meters and choose a 5 meter bin size, Vizac AutoTrack will provide me with eight different values, one for each of 5 meter layer in the lake. Now let's move on to data logging and the configuration menu item called CSV output. CSV output is used to select which columns of information we want to appear in our output file. As you can see, Vizac AutoTrack can generate many, many types of information and several types of reports, including echo lists, track lists, and report summaries. For this example, I am choosing to output a track report summary by interval and interval by range. Next, I select the columns of information that I want to see in the report. I can choose from general information, GPS information, bottom detection, track range, track target strength, track echo level, angle, velocity, and linearity. In this case, I will omit GPS and echo information and build my CSV files to include only completed fish track data. Now that I've completed my CSV output configuration and all of my configuration settings, I can save these settings as a configuration file. This is very handy for future processing with similar file types or data files collected from the same lake or survey area. Just click Save As, name the config file, and save it. Now next time I can use the Load button here to access my saved config file and automatically adjust the parameters without having to make any decisions. This is very handy. Now click OK to exit the configuration window. And now I'm going to run the sample file and simulate the data collection and automated analysis processes that are available through Vizac AutoTrack. For those of you familiar with visual acquisition, the first thing you'll notice is this new window that's appeared called track display. Within the track display, you can watch as each fish track is being formed in the active track window. And then each track is either accepted and recorded in the completed track list below or rejected. And the decision to accept or reject a fish track is based upon the configuration settings that we just made. Now we'll apply some threshold in order to better visualize the fish tracks in this file. Now from the track display window, if we click on the histogram icon at the top, we can toggle between the inter interval summary list and the individual track list. 
In this case, we used a distance interval of 50 meters. Now, in this case, we have basically two sets of fish. We have fish that are more bottom oriented, and we have surface oriented fish targets. These could be larval fish or even zooplankton, but I have deliberately configured Vizac AutoTrack in order to pick up these much smaller and weaker uh, targets in the water column. Now as our file is nearing completion, we can see that we, we have built four intervals so far. And our file is now complete, so we will stop all. we can see that we have 38 completed fish tracks, six intervals of almost 50 meters, or approximately 300 meters total transect distance. Now you can see that the information contained in the track in the summary report includes the start and end ping, the duration, the distance, the number of pings, the number of tracks, our track or fish density expressed in tracks per cubic meter, our mean track target strength, and our mean track range. We can see that the third interval contained the most fish tracks, 14, and that the mean track target strength was minus 60.836 dB. Now we'll toggle back to view the completed track list. And we can use our echogram to correlate each track in the list with the echoes used to form the track as shown on the echogram. As I zoom in on track number 34, we can see that Track 34 was formed from 10 accepted echoes and that there is a one ping gap in the middle of the track, which is acceptable based on our five ping gap setting in the configuration. <clears throat> now we'll zoom out and look at a surface oriented fish track. Track number 17. if I can find it. Here we are. Track 17 is located here. I'll use the zoom tool. And we can see that track 17 was formed from three completed echoes. And directly above track 17 we can see a single echo highlighted in red which was not sufficient to form a completed track. So in the echogram our completed tracks are highlighted in green and our accepted echoes are highlighted in red. We'll just look at one more fish track near the bottom. Track number 37. As we can see in the track list the mean TS was minus 58 and if we look at the echogram closely, we can see the 15 accepted echoes that comprise this fish track. We can also view it in the track bullseye over in the track display here. So now let's take a look at our output CSV file. Now, as stated, the CSV file or track list report was created automatically during data collection. We simply open our data file 
in order to access the int interval by range CSV file. Now with just a slight bit of formatting, the information we're after is very accessible. Now we can see each 50 meter interval, interval 1, interval 2, etc. And from left to right we can see the ping number, the distance traveled, number of pings per interval, our range bins, the eight five meter range bins with start and end range, the number of tracks per interval, the number of tracks per range bin, our track or fish density, the number of pings per swept volume, the volume sampled, our mean track target strength and range, and here at the far right side of the file we have we have a sizing distribution. These are 5 dB increments for each fish track, and in order to illustrate this information. I'll just quickly build a histogram to show you the power of this Vizac AutoTrack software and the type of information that we can extract so readily and easily. So here we have essentially a chart showing our sizing distribution number of tracks in each of the different TS bins. So as you can see, Vizac AutoTrack generated usable fisheries information automatically and simultaneously during data collection, meaning that when I walk off the boat having completed my mobile survey, I have no post-processing work to do. It's essentially done. Now, we have viewed only one report, the int interval by range report, but as you recall, there were four different track report summaries, as well as echo list and track list report options. Vizac AutoTrack also offers file utilities that allow you to process existing DT4 files to generate fish track information. You can play back a single DT4 file, adjust your configuration settings for the echo and track detection parameters, and then import batches of files and with just a few clicks generate summary fish, fish track reports for entire data sets. Imagine how much time Vizac AutoTrack will save you. Now while this software utility does not allow for advanced processing functions such as echo integration, Vizac AutoTrack does provide a tremendous amount of information for fisheries management including total counts, fish density by depth strata, sizing distribution, and spatial distribution. So visit Biosonic's software downloads page to access the latest version of vis Visual Acquisition featuring a demonstration version of Vizac AutoTrack. Then contact Biosonic's with questions or for information on purchasing a license key for this exciting new software program, Vizac AutoTrack.